Hi, I'm Jesse Leahy with EngagingLeader.com. To be an engaging leader, we need to follow all six of what I call the six C's of engagement. Recently on the Engaging Leader podcast, I explained each of the six C's and shared some stories to illustrate what each of them means. In this video, I'd like to just share a few things visually. Number one being that in this pie chart, all six of the six C's are the same size. That's to represent that all six are equally important. Um, I don't think we can really be effective if we only place a priority on one or two or if we skip one or two of these six C's. We're going to find our leadership is lacking and that people don't find us all that worthy of being followed as a leader. I want to share uh, a keyword for each of the, these six C's. And the first C I'm going to talk about is context. And our keyword for that is why. Context is all about why are we going in this direction as a company? Uh, why do we exist as an organization? What is our purpose? Why are you asking us to do this thing? Why are you making this change? We need to make sure that we answer the question why in a way that makes sense for our team so they can understand what does it mean to them. Our second C is clarity and that is all about vision. We need to provide clarity for the direction that we're going as a team together. What's our vision for the future? What's this all leading up to? Um, I, as a team member, I can be a lot more effective with my time if I know sort of the end goal that we are uh, all marching forward together. Uh, you'll notice I made these the same color, context and clarity, and that's because uh, as a leader, we don't have, we may not have 100% uh, control over what the context is and what uh, we need to be clear about what the vision is. Sometimes the context is something that's just handed to us, like the economic environment. We have to make this change because the economic environment is requiring it. Where are we going as a, together as a team? Sometimes that vision is created by senior executives and uh, that maybe are above our level of leadership. And so I may not have had any input into that vision. Or maybe I did have input into that vision, but it wasn't just me. It was a group of people that, that came up with it together. Um, either way, I mean, I don't have 100% control over it. But as a leader, to be effective, I do have 100% control over whether I enroll in those, whether I totally own the situation, and translate that for my team in a way that they can be engaged. Our next C is credibility and I'm moving on to a different color. Credibility is all about whether I am worthy of the trust of my team. Do I have the competence and honesty that's necessary for them to want to follow me? And this is 100% my responsibility and so I'm giving it its own color. Our next three C's have to do with the people on our team and am I um, focused enough on them and their needs? Am I generous with my leadership toward them in putting that focus on them? So I'm going to give this, uh, these three uh, a separate color as well. The uh, fourth C is caring and this is represented by the keyword well-being. Do I care about the well-being of everybody on my team? Do I view them as unique, special human beings that um, have their own needs inside our organization plus a life outside and do I care about their personal well-being in each of those situations. Our next C is connecting and this is all about relationship. Do I allow the people on my team to have a, a real relationship with me, between a relationship between two human beings? Um, this is uh, very easy to see the importance of in terms of your leadership within your family. You can be the best parent and you can have all these other C's in place, but if you are not really in, making yourself available to be in real relationship with your kids, your kids are not going to follow your leadership. They're going to start going off in other directions, some of which may not be healthy. And you've heard it said, kids spell love funny. They spell it T-I-M-E. Um, you need it with your kids. You need to spend 
Lots of quality time in quantity. Quality time in quantity. If you're not doing that with your kids, they are not really going to have those heart-to-heart -heart connections with you that is going to be so important in being a healthy, engaged part of your family. It's not you know, quite so dramatic in other types of teams, but it is important that people aren't going to feel fully engaged if you don't, you're not providing some way for them to really get to know you and, and to have different connections with you as a leader. And of course, the larger your team, the more you're going to need to be creative about making ways for that to happen because you can't sit down with every single person maybe for an hour every week. Um, so that has its own challenges, but it's still important and, and not something we can just blow off. And the last C is coaching. That's all about development. Do I care about the personal development of the people on my team? Am I helping them with their career development, not just to learn and grow in areas that I think are important, but to learn and grow in areas that they're passionate about for whatever future that they care about. Of course, um, I'm, I want to keep an eye towards the vision that we've engaged in together and help people develop in ways that support the vision. But in any type of, of, of team, when the people on that team are learning and growing, there's more of an excitement, more of a passion. And uh, you can't really have a fully engaged team without that development. And when, you're, when you help your people develop, they're going to be much more engaged, much more committed, much more to be willing to give that discretionary effort that can make all the difference in any team. And so these are the six C's of engagement, and each, I think, are equally important. For more about the six C's, including some stories that illustrate each of them, I encourage you to go check out our podcast at engagingleader.com.